Yo, yeah, this video is gonna be fucked. <laughs> it's either a rush of like regular customers, which is great, or these two giving my boy the teary eyes because nah, he's got to deal with them. Cry. I don't cry at all. No, I'm kidding. I get annoyed. But I had Pum 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 $5. What the fuck just happened here? Dude, it's like a tornado. <laughs> a complete yeah. tornado. The umbrella tornado. We just had a humongous sale go on before we even turned on the camera. But first of all, you two, how you guys doing? We are back at the flea market. We are going to be gone for a while though, just because it is closed for the next couple weeks. Our table is looking kind of empty because we literally just sold a bunch of crap. Too much crap. Too much crap. All the boxes are in there of the stuff we just sold because they don't want any of the boxes. They're all in here. That was from deal number one. Deal number two, I still gotta work out, but that lady's gonna take all that stuff. And it is crazy. Like Jared said, it's like a tornado just recently hit. It's literally 9.44. We hit our quota, so we're ready to bounce. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we're gonna show you guys a little bit of what we do today. We were walking around this morning. Look at what Jared cop today. Little teddy bear for himself. So we got a backpack for the office. <laughs> a little hammer tool, multi-tool, I like that. Jared got something funny right here. Sealed. Sealed, VHS. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. Jared's gonna go throw that out so we can do round two of these <laughs> as he falls chopping this shit. <laughs> Let's go, woman. <laughs> Jared will be back, but bought a couple games today as well. It's hard to work with it. So we build relationships here left and right, but some people you gotta learn how to work with. And everyone's different. Everybody's different. Whether you can just give your final price to, or you gotta just add it all up and let them work your way down to where your price is comfortable. Like if I got this all at 700, I already know she's gonna ask for it for six. What price do you give her at? It's all negotiations, it's all business tactics that you gotta do with different people. So you just gotta learn your clientele with this person right here. Every single time I have done a deal with her, she's always asking for it less. Cause this I isn't our first deal. We got a bum rush, we had to stop. And I don't have a strap for this thing. You gotta hold it with the, the paws. We got a bum rush. Negotiations are very annoying with these ladies, but part, it is what it is. Now, nah, part two is annoying. Part one's done. It's part gone. one is done, and then she started talking about how that forty-dollar boot that we have right there. The yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. I told her twenty. We showed you guys in the last video these, but we get like sixty, seventy for them on eBay. So we're giving people steals. I mean, on eBay, on Walmart. <laughs> She's like, you said 20, and I was just like, I literally broke down the prices to you before we even started throwing boxes out. And I was like, but one, we worked out a deal already, the box is thrown out. I was like, that's yours now. That's why the fa their bags are right here. I was like, matter of fact, let's just take them over. And the deal's completely done. These piles, like he explained to the last lady, are all by price. So he already told them at every price for every shoe. So you, you agreed to it, it's over. <laughs> yeah, and that's, the, that's the annoying part about a negotiation, where it's just like, we're agreeing to- The backtracking. Things. Yeah, we're agreeing to certain prices, and now you're just like, what the fuck? Like, why why did we not work out X, Y, Z here? Like, there was a shoe that I gave her five dollars, that gave it to her for five bucks, and she just brought it over like two minutes ago, and she was just like, you said ten dollars on these, and I was like, yeah, I gave them to you for five though. <laughs> She's like, oh, we're not ripping you off. <laughs> we don't do bad business like that either. But I'm trying to work out the final price here, see what the hell that comes out to. And like I said before, before we cut that off. I already know it's gonna be a headache because she came over here trying to haggle more fucking shoes. Let me tell you a shoe that she wanted $40 for. She wanted to pay $40 for this dunk right here. How crazy is that? We put 70 on it because I think we paid what, like 50? But we're getting like totally 75 honest, payouts on, yeah. on GOAT. Totally honest, yeah. We absolutely paid 54 and we're selling at least like five pairs a day right now at 80 to $90 on GOAT. Easily too. So we just wanted to bring that steel because it was a seven and a half and kind of fulfilled those couple voids that we have in sizes here because it's like seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half. For men, we barely have. So once we brought that, I was like, yeah, I might sell here. It hasn't, but it is what it is. It's too expensive. But $40 for is crazy for that. If we can get our hands on those for 40 bucks, I would buy a thousand pairs all day. But like, yeah, like Jerry said, it's been hectic. 
We sold a decent amount of stuff. We sold, actually, we sold that Wolverine blue for 40 flat twice. just before, twice. Did we sell Skechers over here? Uh, I sold a size 10. I yeah. sold a couple of these. I've been busting these down. I fucked up. Yeah, I was about to say, how about, <laughs> how about I take this and you tell us how the hell you fucked up? Hold on. Ladies coming back. Yeah, this video is gonna be fucked. <laughs> it's either a rush of like regular customers, which is great, or these two giving my boy the teary eyes because nah, you gotta deal with them. I don't cry at all. No, I'm kidding. I get annoyed. But a headache. Even even our nice neighbor over here was telling him he's the most patient person she's ever seen because she went through them out of her booth. Yeah, <laughs> business is business. So I I know what it comes with. It you you always get those really annoying people and those really nice ones. You get the people that want to haggle you up the ass, and then you got the people that understand what you're selling for. But regardless, it's so obnoxious sometimes, and it's getting to the point where it really is taking me off. But when I see like little old ladies that we do business with, honestly, it always reminds me of my grandmother. So it's like, uh, and how much she used to piss you off? It's like you gotta have like that compassion, <laughs> but you just gotta keep calm. But like she said, the lady pulls me over and she's like, "You have so much patience." <laughs> and I was like, "I know." I was like, "It's cool though." I was like, "I know they're buying a lot." And, he, and she was like, "I know they're buying a lot, but I don't even care." And like I would have kicked them out a while ago because that's just too much. And it got to the point where they just started throwing the in, like the shoe inserts, like the shit that goes inside of a shoe like this. I see that she just grabs one and just goes. And I'm like, mommy. I thought I did. I was like, mommy, let's not do that here. I was like, you gotta go throw it out over there or there's a dumpster. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I thought I was seeing things. And then he comes up to me, he's like, you saw her just throw garbage on the ground? I was like, oh no, that was real? <laughs> she threw strawberries on the ground. Oh, there's a shoe that she came back over here. And it's funny, oh the residue's right there if you wanna talk about that. A little talent. She came back and wanted to return these. Mind you, we already threw out all those boxes. You saw me carry them away because she said it's the wrong color for her demographic. You picked out the shoe. How do you pick out the shoe and then tell us it's the wrong color? Mind you, I pointed out her sister has the same shoe in her pile. I was like, so are you not gonna want it either? And like, and I, she's cool with it. So it's like, yo, how are you gonna tell us that? And she wants to return it with no box for full price and then trying to swap it for like a $40 shoe over there. It's like, yeah, that's not how negotiation works. We shook hands, we did the deal. You saw everything you purchased. We gave you the right prices. We bagged it up for you. We did everything for you. It's done. Now nah, we're gonna we're gonna record a little bit because I already know she's gonna gonna want to negotiate a little bit more. And it's obviously on Spanish, so I'll try to say a couple things in English. Now you try subtitle to subtitle the whole video. Try to subtitle as well. We'll try to do the best we can. But geez, man, what a choppy video. What an annoying day so far. Honestly, the way that we're at right now, the way that this negotiation is going, it's great. But it's just so exhausting, and it's like mentally exhausting to the point it's like I almost want to say I want to throw all this shit back. The one lady didn't even pay yet. What's her total at already? Oh, uh, so her total because she just threw two more shoes on top of. Uh, of what I already told her. For everything in that corner right there. And we're at 1,094. And she keeps coming back and picking random ones and twos, but it's like, I told him, yo, get the bread before she keeps shopping. Cause you don't even know if she could afford that. And I told her, cause the other- That's a lot lady, of money. Even though the old lady is obnoxious, she was just like, I'm just trying to see if I can make a couple extra dollars over here so I can buy more stuff. Totally understandable. I don't care. I'll even put them on the side for you. She already has one right there on the side. I was like, I'll put them on the side for you. I was like, just let me know what you still want to grab. I was like, come back whenever you want. I understand because they want to make their money. I already know. I've been down to Ecuador. I've seen what they sell shoes for. I've been in the stores to where they sell crap like this for like 150 bucks. And if you're getting it here for 25, $20, I know you got to bring it down there. The whole spiel, you got to sell it. Well, I can almost guarantee you they're probably selling this themselves for like 50, 60 bucks in their country. And it's cool. I don't care. I'm okay with you making your money, but let us at least hit the slightest us a profit margin as well so it makes it worth fucking selling here. It's busy. <laughs> we'll be back. It's been busy, but we'll keep you guys updated. Estos son 10, 5, 20, 40. Los rebounds. No puedo. 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 No pu
Give me 40. I was like, I'll, I'll keep the other 20 for a tip. Yeah, come so. That's what's in 15. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Eso está en 10. 10 dólares cada uno. 8. 80. Más esos dos son 10. Y 100. 100. Aquí. 20 cada uno. Más el 40 ahí. 25. Yeah. Como de mil ochenta ya es el mínimo, no, eso es todo ya. Ya te bajé. Ya te bajé 5 ahí, más de 9, tú sabes que casi más de un dólar en cada uno. Hoy Blanca, si es mono más de 20, no pagues esto. Mira, no pagas, yo te lo saco. Qué malo que es. Ya tú eres mala. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto dinero quieres que yo pierda? Ya te estoy dando un descuento. Ya te di un descuento más un descuento. Y quieres el tercer descuento. No, no, no. So déjamelo para vender aquí. Ah, fea mujer. Y este es el 15. Te estoy dando en 7. So, si quieres pagar 15, te voy a dejar 15. Son 7. Mira. Eso te estoy dando en 15. Esto de aquí son 15, esto están 100. 1080. 1050, 1060. 1080. No sé, hombre, ya me voy a encantar. Mira, si tienes dinero. Te doy el mío. ¿Qué le dio? ¿Qué le dio? ¿Ah? A mi hermana. Si quiere este, dile aquí, yo, yo le doy una tarjeta. ¡Blanca! Es que te llevan la camiseta, señora. ¿Quieres uno? No, ese te cabe. ¿Pero qué? Es? Oiga, tiene algo bonito, ve. Es Cristo. No, ya no lo abriste, es el tuyo. Es aquí bien, ¿no? Camiseta. Mira, te tengo un diferente y eso es todo ya. Ya, ya. ¿Qué me voy a regalar? Eso, ahí. Eh. Camiseta. Sí, okay. Esa mochila, te la negra. ¿Qué marca es la mochila? What happened, bro? Did you see the deal? I see the deal. I barely give a discount because of how she was acting. But I gave her a really good deal, obviously, at the end of the day. There's no robberies here. But 
We but finally that, came to an agreement. I that was a off. battle of the titans. I shaved off 13, no, oh, excuse me, 14 dollars. Uh, $14 off of the, already the bulk price that we were giving her that. It was a good deal on both ends. And at one point she was just like, uh, Youngin, you're bad. That, that's like a saying, like, Oh, Malo. So when she said, uh, you're a bad boy, like a bad boy, I was just like, you're a bad woman. <laughs> so we'll keep going a bit because this shit's crazy. And we're back, guys. It's the end of the day. We are cleaning up. We are getting the fuck out of here. As you can see, we're halfway done. But I don't know where we were when we left off. To be honest with you, it's been so fucking hectic. We sold so much shit today. This was definitely like an all-time high day for us. Probably sold like, I don't even know. Just a lot. It seems like almost half of our inventory, right? Yeah. It looks like everything's gonna fit in just uh, the Home Depot boxes today. And we threw out like two. Yeah. Nah, it was, it was pretty good. It was definitely well worth it. It sucks that it's gonna be closed for the next couple of weeks, but it is what it is. But we finished out that second huge deal. We sold so much kid shit today. Everything is just a complete headache. I know we try to get clips of that interaction and it's in Spanish, so we'll add some subtitles. I don't know how well of footage we got there just because somebody ended up trying a shoe on and then just putting the camera on the floor. <laughs> and I caught you guys like this. <laughs> but overall, like I said, it's been a pretty good day. I'm happy. I don't know how you feel. But I'm good. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here and get some food. I'm totally ready to get out of here. And I'm so happy for this shit right here too because we brought so many Lucy's, so many shoes without being in these boxes. So it's so cool knowing that we don't have to shove all that shit back in here and play Jenga in our van because of how small it is. But I'm stoked today. I'm ready to go get some chicken. If you guys want to see more of our interactions, let us know. I think it's pretty hard sometimes and, some, and there's other times that some people don't want to be recorded. So we've tried to sneak in a little bit of footage here and there, but let us know what you guys really want to see. Do you guys want to see the interactions? Do you guys want to see the haggling? Do you guys want to see the transactions? Oh, somebody just fucked something up over there. The good thing is that guy's driving a piece of shit. So. Stop. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, yo. YouTube, it's been a blast. We'll be back here. Peace.